Assuming you went through that dark opening, you would arrive at one more universe. There is presently an association between quantum registering and dark openings. In this enlightening video, we investigate a historic and alarming disclosure made by the James Webb Space Telescope inside a dark opening, explained by none other than Bill Nye, the science guy. A dark opening is a star so huge that even light can't escape from it due to its tremendous gravity. The secrets of dark openings have perplexed researchers for many years. However, presently because of exceptional abilities, we've seen something really surprising. The very massive dark opening consumes what could be compared to one Earth consistently. It's dazzling and convincing. The very first picture of a dark opening in space. Prepare yourself as we dig into the mind-boggling subtleties of this infinite disclosure and what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. Stars toward the finish of their life, that are much greater and more massive than the sun run out of fuel and begin to collapse as gravity squashes them. Dark openings are tricky to detect. It was quite a challenge to look for the first one, despite the fact that Einstein's theory of relativity predicted they were common. Unlike stars, dark openings don't emit any light on their own. Their size and spin are the only measurable properties we have. Visual proof of dark openings confirming their reality has only recently become available. However, definitive proof of dark openings was lacking for a long time. The first dark opening Cygnus X1 was discovered in 1964, but it took over 30 years for experts like Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne to reach a consensus on whether Cygnus X1 was indeed a dark opening. Hawking, a prominent figure in dark opening research, was confident about their existence but cautious due to the lack of conclusive findings. Hawking and Thorne were nearly 100% sure that Cygnus X1 was a dark opening in 1975 when the bet was initially made and by 1988, they were 95% sure. Still, Hawking held out until 1990 to admit defeat when more observations provided sufficient evidence. The initial discovery of Cygnus X-1 was made using two Geiger counters launched into space on a suborbital rocket, detecting a signal pinpointed to a system 7,200 light-years away. The system included a blue supergiant star orbiting another massive object emitting strong X-rays, which would make sense if it were a dark opening. Much research has focused on Cygnus X-1 since its discovery, revealing that it is 21 times the mass of the Sun, making it the largest stellar mass dark opening found without gravitational waves. This revelation challenges long-held assumptions about dark opening formation and the mass loss experienced by stars over their lifetimes. Cygnus X-1 breaks records in more ways than one, its unprecedented mass and the fastest rotational speed of any dark opening found so far, approaching the speed of light, defy the accepted model of dark opening development. Although definitive proof of dark openings has only recently been found, it is increasingly clear that they are scattered throughout the universe. Even if researchers eventually unravel all the mysteries of Cygnus X-1, the first of its kind, countless others still hold many surprises. Under 2,000 light-years from Earth, Researchers have discovered a dormant giant, the Milky Way's largest stellar dark opening, Gaia BH3, with a mass more than 33 times that of our Sun. Despite being the second closest known dark opening to Earth, Gaia BH3 remained undetected until now. Gaia BH3 was discovered by accident while researchers from the European Space Agency analyzed data from the Gaia mission, which maps our galaxy in 3D. The discovery of this inactive dark opening, which is not actively siphoning energy and material from a companion star, was a complete surprise. Normally stellar dark openings in our Milky Way have a mass around 10 times that of the Sun, with Cygnus X, one holding the record at 21 times the Sun's mass. However, Gaia BH3, with a mass of 33 solar masses, is still small compared to all dark openings. For example, the central supermassive dark opening in our galaxy, Sagittarius A** is 4 million times the mass of the Sun. Gaia BH3 is the second closest dark opening to Earth, behind only Gaia BH1, which is 1,500 light-years away and 10 times the mass of the Sun astronomers now have more evidence to piece together how stellar dark openings form from the collapse of long-lived stars. Stars with lower concentrations of heavy metals are believed to be the source of more massive stellar dark openings. 
these metal-poor stars composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, are thought to experience slower mass loss, leaving more material available to create large dark openings when they die. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, astronomers have discovered an extremely red, supermassive dark opening growing in the early universe's shadow. As the universe expanded, this supermassive dark opening took on a reddish hue. Around 700 million years after the Big Bang, the light traveling toward us is redshifted, suggesting a thick cloak of gas and dust surrounding the dark opening. Lucas Finkelstein and Ido Zitrin of Ben-Gurion University's astronomy team calculated the supermassive dark opening's mass using JWST data, finding it to be around 40 million times the sun's mass. This discovery contrasts sharply with the galaxy it inhabits, showing that the supermassive dark opening is rapidly consuming the surrounding dust and gas. Located around 12.9 billion light-years from Earth, this quasar-like object was initially identified by its red color. Quasars form when immense amounts of matter surround supermassive dark openings, creating a disk of gas and dust that feeds the dark opening. The immense gravitational pull of the dark opening stirs this matter, generating extreme temperatures and making it glow. The light emitted by quasars can be so bright that it outshines all the stars in their surrounding galaxy. The JWST detected this supermassive dark opening as a tiny point due to the enormous amount of radiation it was emitting. The object was initially mistaken for an unusual star-forming galaxy based on its color analysis, supporting the theory of supermassive dark openings. Its small size and apparent nature stood out from other quasars found in the early universe. This discovery was made possible by gravitational lensing, an effect predicted by Einstein in 1915. Einstein's theory of general relativity suggests that massive objects warp the fabric of spacetime. This curvature causes gravity to exist, and the more massive the object, the more extreme the curvature. The bending of spacetime also affects the light emitted by stars, distorting it as it passes near massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows us to see distant objects that would otherwise be invisible. The JWST used this effect aided by a galaxy cluster called Abel 2744, to magnify the light from distant galaxies and uncover the ruby quasar. This new data adds to the growing body of evidence that the early universe was populated with supermassive dark openings, which can be millions or even billions of times heavier than the sun. Now that this behavior has been observed in multiple early universe supermassive dark openings, it sheds light on the formation of both the dark opening and its host galaxy, as well as their relationship, a cosmic version of the classic chicken or egg dilemma. Did the galaxy or the dark opening come first? How massive were the first dark openings, and how did they grow? Researchers may have found proof that microquasars, vampire dark openings that consume power from stars, are cosmic particle accelerators, releasing unexplained high-energy cosmic rays that reach Earth. These massive dark openings consume material from nearby giant stars in binary systems, with some of the star's matter being ejected as relativistic jets traveling at incredible speeds. Openings gobbling up neighboring matter found in 1912. Astronomical beams can hit Earth with energies arriving at 1-0 superscript 2 electron volts, undeniably more vigorous than particles advanced at the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most impressive molecule accelerator. The speculation proposes that supernovae and microquasars are the universe's most intense astronomical molecule accelerators. Anyway, proof of microquasars speeding up particles to such high energies has been scant, until now. Utilizing the High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS, Researchers distinguished astoundingly high-energy gamma beams from the jets of the most remarkable microquasar in the Milky Way, laying out the connection between vast beams and microquasars. This microquasar, S-433, creates high-energy cosmic beams through its jets, which slam into encompassing matter, creating a shock front that speeds up electrons to outrageous rates. These gamma beams are a side effect of this cycle. S-433 was the first microquasar ever discovered. It is situated at the focal point of the W-50 supernova remnant, lovingly called the Manatee Cloud. S-433 has been the subject of broad examination for many years. 
The framework comprises a white supergiant star and a black hole about 10 to 20 times the sun's mass. They orbit each other every 13 Earth days, with the star's external layers being stripped by the black hole's gravity. A portion of this material forms an accretion disk around the black hole, while other parts are launched as jets traveling at 26% of the speed of light. These jets, spiraling in a corkscrew pattern, shape the W50 supernova remnant, giving it the appearance of a vast manatee. The jets fade over time but reappear, a phenomenon driven by the repetitive nature of SS-433's behavior. The jets from the black hole are additionally interacting with the encompassing matter, creating a complex relationship between the black hole and its environment. This behavior makes SS-433 one of the most captivating and enlightening objects in the study of microquasars and their role in cosmic particle acceleration. Regardless of SS-433 being the first identified microquasar, much is still unclear about how black holes speed up particles to such extreme energies and their broader influence on the universe. Researchers use different techniques, including indirect measurements, to determine the nature of these cosmic phenomena. For instance, black holes can be observed through their interactions with adjacent stars and matter, as evidenced by the dramatic increase in X-ray emissions when material is pulled into their gravitational grip. This phenomenon is critical to understanding black holes and their influence on the universe, offering crucial insights into the evolution and behavior of these mysterious objects. The Discovery of the Most Distant Known Black Hole In the realm of black hole research, the recent discovery of the most distant known black hole, a record-breaking 13.1 billion light-years away, has further expanded our understanding of these cosmic giants. This revelation, made possible by the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, uncovers a supermassive black hole formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. This early formation challenges existing theories about black hole development and galaxy evolution. Observations suggest that these primordial black holes may have played a pivotal role in shaping the structure of the universe by influencing the formation and growth of the earliest galaxies. Black holes and active galactic nuclei, AGN. In addition to their role in galaxy formation, black holes have been linked to powerful cosmic phenomena known as active galactic nuclei, AGN. AGNs are characterized by extremely luminous emissions from the regions around supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. This emission occurs when material from the surrounding accretion disk is heated to extreme temperatures as it spirals inward, producing X-rays and other forms of radiation. Studying AGNs provides valuable insights into the feeding behavior of black holes and their impact on their host galaxies. Research has revealed that AGNs can significantly influence galaxy growth by regulating star formation and dispersing heavy elements throughout the galaxy. Advancements in Gravitational Wave Cosmology Recent advances in gravitational wave astronomy have provided a new way to test the properties of black holes. The detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes by observatories such as LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new frontier in understanding these enigmatic objects. Gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive accelerating objects, allow scientists to measure the mass, spin, and other properties of black holes that are otherwise difficult to observe. These observations have confirmed the existence of black holes with masses ranging from a few to several hundred solar masses, including mergers that result in the formation of even more massive black holes. Black Holes and High-Energy Cosmic Rays Another fascinating aspect of black hole research involves their role in the production of high-energy cosmic rays. Cosmic rays, extremely energetic particles traveling through space, are believed to be accelerated by black holes, especially those in active galactic nuclei, AGN, or microquasars. The process involves the interaction of relativistic jets generated by black holes with surrounding matter, creating shock waves that accelerate particles to nearly the speed of light. Understanding the origins of these cosmic rays is critical for grasping their impact on the interstellar medium and the broader cosmic environment. The mystery of black hole outflows and primordial black holes. Beyond their influence on cosmic rays, black holes are also associated with the formation of complex structures known as relativistic outflows. These outflows are powerful jets of matter ejected from the regions around black holes at nearly the speed of light. 
Studying these jets help scientists understand the mechanisms behind the formation and growth of supermassive black holes and their effect on their host galaxies. Recent theoretical work has also explored the concept of primordial black holes, which are believed to have formed in the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. Unlike stellar mass or supermassive black holes, primordial black holes would have originated from density fluctuations in the early universe rather than from collapsing stars. If they exist, primordial black holes could account for a portion of dark matter in the universe. Identifying these elusive objects remains a major challenge, but their study could offer new insights into the fundamental properties of dark matter and the early universe. Black Hole Thermodynamics and Hawking Radiation Research into black hole thermodynamics and Hawking radiation continues to be an area of active investigation. Proposed by Stephen Hawking, this theoretical radiation suggests that black holes can emit particles and gradually lose mass over time. While direct detection of Hawking radiation is currently beyond our technological capabilities, it has profound implications for our understanding of black hole evaporation and their ultimate fate. The Black Hole Information Paradox Another intriguing development in black hole research is the study of the black hole information paradox, a long-standing puzzle in theoretical physics. This paradox concerns whether information that falls into a black hole is lost forever or if it might be recoverable in some form. Recent advances in quantum information theory and holography have led to new insights into this problem, suggesting that information may be preserved in a highly scrambled form and potentially recoverable in some way. Conclusion The discovery of gravitational waves from black hole mergers has not only confirmed the existence of these cosmic giants but has also provided a new method for studying their formation and evolution. With advancements in observational techniques, theoretical models, and groundbreaking discoveries, the study of black holes remains a dynamic and exciting field, one with profound implications for our understanding of the universe.